group. <laughs> yeah, you better be back here. Eh? I'll quickly just flip that. Just... Who it is this time? Wigan versus Solio. Which, yeah, I know. Some of you might not be really all that interested in that. I am doing that inside because you've seen it down outside, so you know. So, yeah, <laughs> just cut you off to so the guy could go through the team sheets. Some of the main team are in, some of the uh, subs are getting some of the other So, uh, it's not going to be uh, bad. So, the old, sorry guys, I don't know much about non league football. Um, I did a quick run up. The Solihull are in sixth position in theirs, which is two leagues below us, which I would know as the old conference, but I think it's kind of, it's like, you know, com not conference premier, but, you know, whatever. I can't remember the name of it right now, I'll probably remember it later. Uh, but there is sixth, we're getting our top of League One. After a good few games, especially after beating the, uh, Midweek Kudu as well. Coming back to shoot down, I believe that it Sorry, I was a wee bit busy with family. I believe the game back to shoot down. Um, unlike United, that got beat again at home by a major rival, but hey, I'm not going to touch on United. Yeah, but yeah, first time in here for a little while. Um, yeah, it's first then proper of the FA Cup and I know it's not exactly going to be a massive crowd but hopefully it is a good crowd. Uh, reports are that there's about two, three, maybe four hundred guys coming up from Solihull. Saw the uh, noisemakers and drum, drums being uh, pulled in from the side and then closer to the away end than normally then usually way up the other side of the stadium. But, uh, I'm on down here this time just because, don't know why, some of these are just out. <laughs> Pick the seat at random. No, no. Here we go. I'm up here. Yeah, it's going to be the usual mayhem madness. The usual in and out cuts. I'll see what I can get. See if I can get any kind of like hot takes or anything like that. Or if there is like, you know, a free kick or something. Or even if, if there is any excitement from the away end, I'll see if I can um, plot you over for, for that. This is probably going to hear more, more of our lot. I didn't say that it's a dead cert that we're going to beat them, but especially last time that they did play an on the team, uh, Charlie, they did get beaten in the FA Cup by Charlie, so uh, you never know. But hey, that is a bit of a dirty word. But yeah. But, hey, okay, anyway, pipe is grand. So, wait for the action now. Whoever's in control of the PA, the sounds keep flopping up and down a bit as well. A little bit in and out with the sound. Yeah, right, I know I am kind of like a little bit deaf though, but let's go. Anyway, you know. Just as we kick off. <laughs> Nothing's happened yet, but I'm going to say that one immaculately observed two minute silence since this is the closest game here in the stadium to remembrance. Day. Immaculate. So, Sully Hall kicked off so far, it's not actually looking too bad. For a moment, I just thought that the only thing that was going to pierce the silence was the uh, uh, ongoing sirens going around, which you hear constantly all the time. But uh, I don't know whether it was played over the PA or we've got someone in on the, uh, on the buttes. Well, there was the last post. So that was played, so we had something going on. And now we're just on the run here. Whoa. Could get a corner, but we've just got a corner out of this. Yeah, that was me clanging. <laughs> yeah, we've got a bit of a corner, so. Uh, Unfortunately, like with the rugby, you've got to stay on my face. No, you might not like it, but you've got to stay on my face. But let's just see. Nicely whipped in. Nicely defended. Just from this wall, only two minutes or so. Solihull do look like a handy little team. 
Nice and compressed. You know, you never know how that's going to play out, but again, we're still camped in their half at the moment for the first like, one or two minutes. So, I hope it could happen at this point with a bit of a scrum ash in, the, in their box. Drive over or get away. Anyway, how are you doing? 15-16 minutes gone, not much. To be honest, Solihull looked like quite a hard team to beat, and we just got a little free kick. Oh, what was a near nothing. But We've had what, two chances and it hasn't come to anything. Solihull could have got some up earlier. They're not doing too bad actually. For a, a, for a lower league team, they aren't actually doing too bad. Which you always know that they're going to be in there get, getting around scrappy. Just with it being like within the first 20 minutes. You know they're going to do it, but with it, it's getting wetter. So the weather's going to play its part. And those of you that know anything about Wigan know that, yes, Wigan did win this cup in 2013, but got relegated the same season. So, comes and goes with this, but, you know. Then Solly Hull are having a quick raid. Then what would be, I call my right, or their right. Here. Oh! They're getting a bit more possession on the ball than we are, which isn't all that bad to be honest. But if we can just sneak round them, get one in, or at least get one or two more on target, we might be able just to worry their backline just a little bit. But at the moment, there isn't really, it's all middle of the park lumping passes which doesn't bode well this when they can get some time on the ball a couple of nice meaty tackles going in there so you know but hey we will see some good chances just not quite good enough not able to cut through them quick enough not able to take that chance we've got it just had a free kick right, right outside the box yeah, it was inches inches wide I had a few little moments where we look more like we just got the, the keeper off but no it seems more to be honest Solly Hull have uh, have a little bit more pressure on this one. They seem to have got the measure of us rather than us having the measure of them. Don't know. Don't know. But for what? For two, maybe three hundred of their fans? I'm making quite a good noise. Which, to be honest, for a cup game, what you want. You do want a bit of atmosphere. It does look a little sparse in here. But then again, the weather doesn't really help. Plus the fact that it was the Manchester derby. Uh, yeah, it is. Early rounds of the cup. But still, you know. Still. 40 minutes of a game gone. No goals. And a game that could do with a goal. Where it comes from, I don't know. It just doesn't feel quite normal. You know. Looking around at the heads in the stand I'm in. A good few in here, a spattering over the other side. The other side, empty, and the away end, we've got a couple of hundred in. So I'll just quickly take it quickly, see what I mean. But empty, a few, a few, empty, and then all of this. But yeah. It doesn't. Sometimes that's not right. Whether they've got their tactics right to kind of like swallow up our press or what but we're just not able to break it down and when we do 
they seem to be able to counter us quicker. But then again, slick pitch. You never know. But hey. Anyway. Might as well do a quick half time. Even though I've already said most of it. You need to put the pressure on a bit. Twenty minutes ago, still no score. We've had decent amount of pressure for about ten minutes. Made no difference. Don't know. Don't know. Just feels like this one's going to be one of those ones. It was right there through the wire. No. There's moments where we're camped up in their half, but we're just not able to put anything in, not able to do anything. We just we can't make a difference. Don't know why, just can't do it. And those guys are still making lots of noise. Yeah. We have all the promising moments where we've got the ball, we've taken shots, we've troubled the keeper from corners. Pull some nice shots in, batted it away. You just can't seem to just get it in, I don't know why. We've got some of the main squad in there, but I don't know. Something just doesn't seem to be clicking. It was quite numb in here sometimes as well. And it'll just be the temperature and the volume. You know, looking at the clock, we've got what, almost 18 minutes. Yeah. This is going to be another one of those ones that's the last minute scream or what? But to be honest, whoever scores, I think whoever scores next thing is it. Because Solihull are putting on a really good show of how good conference teams can be or National League as I uh, scroll down in the scores quite a lot of the other cup games have um, gone on you know, there's quite a few goals done in quite a few games I can't remember but I know I have to check one of the teams I think it was Yeovil I think I think it was Yeovil that scored four so some of the others are quite interesting I have to check as well Sunderland were losing but and again, I can't remember because I didn't really concentrate on that. I just scrolled down just to see what was going on, games wise. Yeah. 
and there's a little bit of time wasting going on at the moment which you know given the time in the game yeah all right i'd say yeah. Uh, the time the guy got a yellow card whether he intentionally kicked it away or was just arguing back or what but sometimes time wasting is okay and other times it isn't but, you know but as I said a moment ago whoever scores next I think will take the winner which right now sorry I do have the ball so I'm just going to watch this play out see his pans see his pans away Marginal. Two players in, guys got the ball and he's trying to squeeze it through. They got a nice little freak on the edge of the, uh, edge of the box. Is this is interesting. This is interesting. This is an interesting one. Just kept it away. So I kept it back. And so I hold it on. Well, no deal. So that means it's a replay over at Solio. The one time we got the ball in the net and it's offside. And from my angle it didn't look like it was offside when I saw the replay it was. So yeah. Good on Solio, well does. We didn't have our full strength team out like, but still, you know. Could have been more, could have got that. Just didn't press hard enough. We started switching it on in the last five or so minutes. Didn't work. Not quite right. Just didn't manage it, which, yeah, alright. But that's what you expect sometimes. Anyway. I'll wrap up when I get outside. <sighs> well, my aftermatch thoughts. <laughs> okay. To be honest, yeah. Within the last 20 minutes, I thought whoever was going to score was going to win it. Which, if there would have been a goal, that would have proved it. Which, after the last time I said that, that came through this time, not so much. And as I said at the beginning, lower league, opposition, non-league, national league, whatever you want to call it, any of those guys when they come out up to, especially the early stages of a cup, they're going to want to go and have a bit of a giant killing and do a bit of an upset and screw the big boys up, which effectively because of already some of the games that have uh, choked up because of some of the lads in the Wigan squad getting called up to internationals. That's already happened once or twice this season. Having another game chucked in on top because of a replay, that's also going to uh, screw with the balance a little bit. There's a few passes which sometimes it didn't look like some of, the, some of them were trying to be a bit cute about it. Just jumped across the crossing. They looked like some of them were trying to be a bit cute with some of their passes. They did look like they were trying to do a, throw a few shapes out there, but it wasn't working. It was more of a stick it in the trenches, fire the cannon, and smash the living bejeebus out of it kind of game. 
sick of half it stopped raining and now it's decided to start raining again so probably going to be a bit of a short to wrap up on this one for me anyway probably going to be a wee bit of a short wrap but, some more fireworks going on obviously my brain still hasn't gotten used to and from a smaller town to a bigger town it's a lot now easier even though I have been here three years still not quite used to it yet but all credit to Solihull Hull pushing 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 to be honest good little team good noise out of the fans that turned out as well one of those things that sometimes you don't know how it's going to go with let's say uh, lower league turnouts and stuff especially making the way from the Midlands to up here I know how, uh, how difficult it is going from here to just outside Stoke to get to Alton on a general day you know on a day was uh, Hectic metric, he metric hecaton of sport going on. And yes, obviously it's going to be a, a wee bit uh, funky for him to get in and out. But to be honest, if they'd have scored, I wouldn't be good to them because they did quite well with that one. A few moments were alright, yeah, they were getting a few. Like you know, tackles and stuff, it was a bit of patch going on. But other than that, I want too bad. There you go, that was good from both sides. So, you can't blame anyone on that one, to be honest. I think if either of the two teams that have taken their chances and taken their shots a bit better, might have uh, had something. I do apologise if there was a bit of wind noise or car noise, because I'm still pretty much at the crosswalk right now. To get across, right? hey. If either of them had taken the chance to do a and just met it, that would have been quite nice. There's uh, a goal on either side would have warmed up the atmosphere a bit. But it didn't quite happen. But hey, anyway. Any of you guys in Solid Hole have made it all the way to the end of this. Stick your, uh, your views and all that. Think of you and everything and your ideas and what your point of view was on some of those key moments <sighs> stick them down below and i know i didn't do the intro because one well, i haven't done it for a little while two i kind of did that ad hoc whilst i was still trying to catch my breath after spanning quite a hot pie again wind is now roaring in my face but yeah <laughs> so yeah but yeah, anyway, so if you do like this content and you do want it to continue, give it a good old thumb or thumb up. See your comments and anything down below. Sum up because it always helps us out. Share the bejeebs out of this one. And if you want to know when the next time that I do will load, then ring that bell. Ring it. Ring it hard. But anyway, this has been me. Rockstar 13, 87, signing out, peace.